Hello, my name is Elizabeth Harrion from the blog The Money Files. Today I want to talk about the five things that you should know before you get into a relationship with any supplier for your project. Choosing a supplier is quite an important thing because on a longer term project you might be working with them for several years. And if you're working in the IT space or any other space actually, you may well find that you want an ongoing relationship with them after the project has, has closed for operational reasons, for maintenance, for ongoing bugs, bug fixing and support. So you're making very much a long-term decision when you choose a supplier for your project. With that in mind, there are five things that you need to consider before signing up to any deals. The first one is to take a look at their financial background. Is the business solvent? Find out as much as you can about their background and the reason you're looking for that is to make sure that they'll still be trading in a few years time. You don't want to be starting out a relationship with a company that's on the verges of bankruptcy and they may not be that transparent about their situation so it's up to you to ask the right questions and to find out. Secondly, think about the size of the business. Can they cope with a deal of the size that you're giving them? You may well be their largest contract. Can they support that? Can they support you and your team going forward? Equally, it might work the other way. You might actually be offering them a very small amount of work and they might be a very large firm with bigger clients than you. So will they be able to give you the level of support and service that you're expecting? If not, you might want to look at going with someone who is perhaps more evenly matched to your company in terms of size and scale. Thirdly, talk to them about what's included. When you work with them, what do their propositions include? What are you going to get? And this is not just in terms of whether or not they include expenses and tax on their, on their proposals, but also in terms of culture. What do you get in terms of their values and culture and the, the sort of spirit of the work that they'll be bringing to your project? Because it's important that you've got a good strategic fit and a good financial fit, but also a good cultural fit and that the team members they provide to you are going to fit well with your existing team. Thinking about team members, that's the fourth thing to consider. Who are they going to give you to go onto your team? You'll want to make sure that their level of expertise matches what you need, but that you're not paying for somebody to join your team who has a great deal of experience when perhaps you actually need them for, for a lower job. You want to make sure that you're not overpaying for contract resource and that you're getting people at the right level, but equally if you need experts that they're available in the company and that they can be brought in if necessary. Finally, and this is especially important if you're working with international teams, it is worth asking what their working hours are. You'll certainly find, and I have found, that if you're looking out to partner with overseas organisations, they'll have different public holidays to you, they'll have a, a different working hours, and it's worth clarifying that, especially if you want them to sign a contract that says that they'll work your working hours. And many companies will, will do that if they're made aware of it, but it's just a question to ask at the beginning so that you're not caught out when you call the office and they're closed for a national holiday that you know nothing about. So those are the five things that I think you should consider when choosing a supplier to work with on your projects. There's lots of other things to take into account as well, but those are the five main things that, that I've had front of mind when I've been choosing suppliers for my projects in the past, and I think they're good criteria for you to consider for your suppliers as well. Thank you for listening. There's a lot more videos on uh, my YouTube channel, so search for The Otter Boss Group and check them out.